Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Gardener. So I had another question related with stress colors. Uh, so I thought I will make a video on it. Now here I have two of my succulents uh, that are same from the genus of Echeveria, which is Echeveria luella. Now as you can see, the one on my left hand side is extremely stressed, whereas the other one is not stressed. It is open. It was hydrated uh, two or three days back and you can see it's more open. The colors are more green, whereas this one has a lot of intense color and the leaves are closing inwards the reason is because it is being stressed uh, but now i will go ahead and water it because you can see the leaves are starting to get wrinkles one of the leaf has already turned dry now guys again another important point if i want i can pull this leaf out right away but if i'm going to do that i cannot water the pot right now now over here the main priority is to hydrate the succulent rather than pulling this leaf out because this is not going to damage the plant but if i'm going to wait for some more days the wrinkles will appear even more on the succulent so the priority over here is to water my succulent rather than pulling out this leaf this leaf can stay with the mother plant after I have hydrated the plant, once the upper layer of soil is dry, I can then pull out this dry leaf. Now, I'm going to show you an image of both these succulents. They were both in the same pot, as you can see over here. And both of them had the same amount of stress colors. But now, as you can see, it is quite different. But earlier, both of them were in the same pot and both of them had a good amount of stress. The reason why I happened to repot is because you can see this pot has started to crack. I had dropped this pot while watering. So I thought I will move one of the succulent out from this pot and probably later on I will move this one as well. But right now, I have left the succulent in the pot as it is. Now, the question over here was, will the stress colors reduce or will the stress colors fade off if we tend to water our succulent? Of course, guys, this is what is going to happen when you are going to water your stressed succulent. There is a high chance that the succulent will lose the stress colors. Now, we need to understand what exactly is stress. What exactly gets those stress colors is when we tend to reduce the watering and we offer a good amount of morning direct sunlight for 5 to 6 hours or probably 6 to 7 hours. Now this succulent is getting a good amount of 6 to 7 hours of direct morning sunlight because it's winters and the watering was reduced a lot. So the stress colors were maintained. Now if I'm going to water it today it will lose the stress colors like this. Now there is nothing wrong with this. It's absolutely normal for the succulent to start to open up once you start to water. But this one was kept in indirect bright light. It was not getting a lot of direct sunlight. It was getting around four to five hours of morning direct sunlight. That's why it is taking a little bit while for the stress colors to set in. Now, if I'm going to put this succulent as well out in morning direct sunlight for six to seven hours, within a couple of days, the stress colors will start to show up again. But I just wanted to give you an example. So I didn't put it out in direct sunlight i wanted to show you that if your succulent is very stressed if you're going to give it a good amount of water if you're going to hydrate it the leaves will open up and the stress colors will reduce over here this one is not watered but it's time to water so i'm going to take some water and add in from the sides now probably within few days uh, the succulent will start to open up and the stress colors will reduce but as I'm offering it a good amount of six to seven hours of direct sunlight probably the colors might stay so a lot of people tend to get scared the moment the succulent loses the stress colors they think that something is wrong with the succulent there is absolutely nothing wrong with the succulent in fact it is a good sign that shows you that your succulent is very healthy uh, the water that was given to your succulent it has absorbed that water which also indicates that the roots are very healthy they are functioning at their full capacity so that's why they were able to absorb that water within 24 hours or maybe within 48 hours the succulent will start to open up depending upon how dehydrated it is if it is a extremely dehydrated succulent probably it might even take three days for the succulent to open up but if it was a mild dehydration like in this case the succulent opened up within 
within 24 hours. So please don't be worried. It's absolutely normal for a succulent to lose the stress colors when it is being watered, when it gets hydrated. It's basically de-stressing itself. All this while it was not getting water. That's why it was putting out that survival instincts of putting out that bright colors, closing the leaves inwards. These were all the survival instincts of the succulent. But now that it has been hydrated, it tends to come out from its survival mode and it tends to look open and loses that color. But again, guys, just because you want your succulents to be very strong color doesn't mean that you are going to dehydrate that. As I said this earlier as well, there is a limit for everything, whether it's underwatering, whether it's giving a good amount of sunlight, everything has a limit with succulents. We cannot cross or we cannot exceed that limit. If that happens, either the succulent is going to get extremely dehydrated and have a dry rot or if you're going to water it too much or if your watering exceeds then it's going to have a root rot and if you're going to offer a lot of sunlight it will get burnt and if you're going to give very less sunlight then it will start to stretch so everything has a limit everything has a balance you basically need to strike that balance again we cannot understand all of this within a couple of weeks or within a couple of months this is a long learning process it will eventually come to you as in when you start growing your succulents but the most important thing is you need to have patience things work very slow with succulents unlike with other plants with other flowering plants or foliage plants there things are a little bit faster but over here with succulents everything is very slow whether it's rooting whether it's leaf propagation whether it's stem cutting whether it's the overall growth of the mother plant everything tends to grow at a very very slow pace so do not be worried about that so i think we are done with watering uh, the water has passed through the drain hole so we are going to place it back again in the same place where it gets a good amount of six to seven hours of morning direct sunlight. I will eventually start to put it out in direct sunlight. The soil looks completely dry. Yes, it is ready for watering, but I'm not going to water it now because you can see the leaves are wide open. Colors are missing, which indicates that the succulent is happy. It is very well hydrated. So I do not want to add in too much of water. We're just going to let it rest for some days and then we will water after a few days so that's all about it please don't be worried if your succulent is losing colors it's absolutely normal at times the uh, pigment anthocyanin will reduce uh, when the succulent tends to de-stress so that is all about it i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please hit the like button and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing to it until then take care stay safe and keep propagating